So uh, last night, Sunday evening, September 1st, uh, Globex opened. I uh, took a trade on the NASDAQ and I recorded it. The thing is, for whatever reason, the first part of the video did not come out. The second part was fine, but I think the second part without the first part just would make no sense. So what I will attempt to do right now is to simply reenact that first part. So just to be clear, so right now this is not live trading. As a matter of fact, this is Monday morning. I looked at the video before sending it to Randy and sure enough, that first part was erased. I will reenact the first part, but the second part is live and I'm going to show the, the time of sales, the computer clock and and the configuration panel. Uh, it, it was a live trade. So uh, when the market opened up last night, Sunday evening, we had this huge gap down. Uh, prices went down slightly, tried to come up, then came down again and just broke the low by a little bit, right around 76.10. 76.10 is really not a very important number as I was watching this. And the fact that they could not break 76.10 and bring it below 7600, I think the next area would be like uh, 7594, 75.90. Uh, instead, they started to come up. And they came up to 22, tested the volatility stop here on this five minute chart, um, and then kind of were going sideways, refusing to really attempt lower. At that point, um, I looked to the left and I saw this uh, 76, 47, 76, 46 area. And it became apparent to me that if they can break above 76, 30, they will attempt to test the 76, 47 area. So uh, at the same time, if they are indeed weak, they should have no problem breaking the 7610 and going down to below 7600. Uh, here is what I did. I uh, clicked this feature, a very helpful feature in the Auto Trader, and I placed a buy stop at 7632, like this. So I'm not going to keep it on, but just to show you. Um, and at the same time, I used a sell stop feature and brought it to around 7608 like this so in effect i had a buy and a sell stop with the idea is if 30 is broken they're going to go up to 47 if 08 is broken they're going to go below 7600 and the um the trade management so once once one of these positions would fill, the second one would cancel automatically. And then the trade management of the auto trader uh, would go into effect. So in this one, it was uh, two contracts. Uh, two contracts. I changed the targets a bit simply because I wanted to be completely out right below the 47. Because 47, once it was test tested, it would be unknown if... They want to reject it and then go much lower or go above it and fill the gap. Going above the 47 would fill the gap. Um, so, it, yeah, it was 25 and 60 ticks with precision trend exit being on. Again, the idea is if I am filled on the long side and then price breaks the volatility stop, I don't want to be in the trade anymore. Similarly, if they fill the sell stop and go above the volatility stop, again, I would not want to be in that trade anymore. Um, so this was the first part, and uh, now take a look at the second part.